Hello everybody, my name is Tizzy and welcome to something new, at least something new to me. Uh, because I have an exciting new game lined up to try uh, that I've never played before. But I saw it, because I can't even remember where I saw it, you know. But uh, it looks dead interesting and I'm actually really excited by it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gonna hear it fire it up. Hopefully, it will appear for you on your screens momentarily. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is Delta V: The Rings of Sam. Uh, it's gonna panic slightly as I tab it in out to deal with OBS, but that's fine. Uh, and I'm 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 quietly excited by this. Uh, it's a it's a mining game. Where you float around in the rings of Saturn and you eat rocks with your spaceship. Oh, and we all have a, a new follower. Hey, listen, look, thank you so much for following. I hope uh, you enjoy the stream. Do remember to say hi in chat. Uh, it's lovely to have you here. Uh, I'm going to just kind of have a look at these settings, actually. Have a look at these settings. Particularly have a look at these the music settings, because I suspect it's getting a little loud. Is that sort of better? How's that? I think that's a lot better. Alright, we're going to assume that that is, is good. Uh, don't pause when in background for definite. Uh, difficulty. Oh, we have difficulty levels. Well, we probably don't want fully peaceful, so we'll have balanced. Uh, tutorial is on, definitely. Controls! It says you can't hear it over actual church bells! Okay, I'm assuming those are not a permanent feature. Uh, I don't understand what this screen is telling me, so we'll just work with it. Uh, also, welcome to Shaskor! How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful evening. It's lovely to see you here. Uh, I don't know what any of this means, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, accessibility. Okay, we don't have a uh, subtitles option. Oh, it's so much louder! Ow, ow, it's so much louder not in the menu. That's because I turned off the double tap sensitivity, not the volume. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Hellas Look says hi, and if someone was playing this, so I decided to pop in. Oh, you've come in at a great time because I am completely new to it. Uh, so you're gonna you see what? Question everything. Hello. Oh, I, I have to question everything apparently, but I don't know. I have to question what that was supposed to be. Okay. Right. Am I gonna get a tutorial? Did I accidentally skip the tutorial? Ah! Uh, <laughs> also, hi to Rayfire, how's it going? This is Enceladus Prime. Hi there, Enceladus Prime. Your mining license doesn't check out. Hold your ship for remote inspection. Hello? Okay. Seems you're late for your periodic inspection of the rapid marsupial. Set you up for temporary permission remotely. Have to get proper papers back on the station. Okay. Let's check your autopilot orientation sensors. Run your ship to zero degrees. Hold that heading. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Now set orientation to 90 degrees and hold that. Okay. Your velocity sensors. Accelerate to 20 meters per second into the rain. Uh, okay. Can I? Hang on a sec. Okay. Right. Let's slow that velocity to start with. Nope. Wrong one. <laughs> okay. This is fine. We're just. We're just getting to it. Okay. Now, five meters per second towards the station and the edge of the ring. Okay. Let's be 
minus five. There we go. Hold your position now. How do I do that? Give me a moment to fill this out, and I'll get right back to you. Uh, Shesko actually has to go to bed now. You just saw the term Delta V with KSP near under the top. It's the same Delta V, um, but in a different game. All right, what are we doing now? Okay, this says below 50 meters per second, don't rush us, use no race ship. Good to know. Do I have fuel somewhere? Uh. Okay, right. So check your mining position. Hold your mining equipment. Hold your position. I am holding my position. Let's check your excavator. Open it up with middle click. Okay. Or enter. Right. I detect an ore nugget nearby. Target locking you. Fly slowly towards it with your excavator open. Okay. Checking calibration of autopilot target lock on. Target one of the ice rocks floating around. What's an ice rock? Now hold your relative velocity to the rock. I need to scan the area. Okay. They clear any ships, you're authorized to fire your mass driver. Oh! I have a go boom gun! Fantastic! Uh, we need to check target lock resolution. Lock on something small and shiny. You might want to check your LiDAR. I think that's this. Yeah, okay. Now match velocity to that target. I don't quite know how to do that, but I think I already have. Every time I, I push a button, it like... Every, every time I push a button, it, it disables my... Uh my lock on. I don't know how to match velocity without pushing buttons. Whoop, okay. We're done with this part. Give me a minute to record this. You might want to use this time to mine. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know what it's doing when I... Whoa! Ow, I think I just got hit. I did just got hit. Uh... I don't see any bits. Stop your ship using autopilot. I don't know how to do that! You haven't told me that. Hang on. Ah, <clears throat> settings. Controls. Uh, I don't see. Wait, hang on. Manual controls disengage autopilot. Autopilot controls engage autopilot. How do I do that? Autopilot station keeping. I don't want to do that. Maintenance. Uh, you haven't told me what the button is for autopilot, so I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I turned on manual. Wait, hang on. Shift is manual. Okay, my autopilot seems to be working order, apparently. Disengage the autopilot and fire RCS manually. Fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Shift is is that thing. Shift is is my big booster. You still haven't told me how to do that. Okay, X seems to be stop. 
Bring up your onboard maintenance system. Uh, the Halo Syndic says it's always a little confusing to understand. The X stops the ship or matches the velocity of an object you've locked on. Okay, amazing. Thank you. That's super helpful. Uh, bring up your onboard maintenance system with J. You might want to familiarize yourself with the current astrogation interface. Seems to be operational. This includes the remote inspection. You can astrogate back to the station at Enceladus Prime for your permanent license or just stay in the rings and mine a bit longer. Your current temporary license is good for one dive. Right. Good profits, and watch yourself, rings are a dangerous place. That's great. What does any of this mean? <laughs> Turn things on and off. Check out other consoles, slide to transfer power, don't take power from broken things. Okay, this is... This is a misalignment. I guess. Okay. So I can lock onto this. And then shoot it. Oh, that didn't do anything. And then hopefully it'll give me some bits. I don't see any bits. Can I eat this whole thing? I got a diving license, apparently. No, I can't eat this whole thing. Oh! Maybe I did eat this whole thing, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, bits. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can you can kind of see my cargo hold, so you can see like what I've eaten, I guess. Amazing. Where am I? I'm right on the edge of the rings. Uh, how do I see? Oh, look, I can see my delta V is up there. That's my fuel. I don't really know how to get to Enceladus Station, I will say. Uh, I hope that's not a thing of concern. Okay, we're just going to drift towards this. Oh look, I have a limited amount of mass driver ammo as well. Uh, this also looks too big to, to swallow. Uh oh! Right, doopity doop. This looks like a tasty chunk. Got him. Amazing. You look like a tasty chunk. Okay, so every shot costs 10 kilos of ammo. Uh, I can't see the thing I'm supposed to be. There we go. Right. So it's basically kind of a case of shoot a thing, see what bits it throws out, and then... Uh eat them. I don't know how you... I feel like different bits are worth different things, because I've seen a little bit of gameplay of this, and I seem to remember that being the case, but I don't know how you tell how much different bits are worth. This might be a bit what we need to eat. Uh, 
Five meters per second might be a little fast. So like if I... Hang on. If I open up... Oh! Oh, okay! I numbed it. I now need to catch up. This is blue. This is a different color. Uh, oh, I've got a visual feed. Is my visual feed of this thing? Okay. Right. So I've used up sort of about a thousand meters per second so far, I think. Floating about, and I've not gotten very far in. That's okay. Uh, hup. Right, just gonna close this distance steadily. We're not in a hurry. We gotta avoid. How do I see what my my acceleration is like in and out, like they were doing before? Uh I don't know if I do to tell you the truth. Is this thing gonna hit that? Whoa Ah uh oh okay uh It turns out if you decelerate with your mouth open Everything flies out of your cargo bay. That's sorta of no good. Uh, I don't like that. In fact, I hate that. Okay, we got to make sure not to do that in future. <laughs> I didn't realize when I had a little picture of my cargo hold on the left, I didn't realize that uh, <laughs> that really meant, you know. <laughs> what it meant. Okay, I'm going to see if I can just nom this at once. I haven't quite yet figured out, like, uh, what things I can and can't just chew on. Obviously not that. That's okay. We got another bit, another chunk. I feel like we're not getting a lot of stuff for the amount of shooting we're doing, but that's probably fine. Uh, what's our current velocity? A little, not actually that high. Just gonna fly towards this bit. Uh, we don't need to be going quite that fast, but we'll maybe slow down a little bit as we get closer. No, mine. Oh, hello, there's another ship here. Hi. There's two other ships here. 
Uh oh. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's uh, let's not hit that, eh? Did that give us anything? I don't see anything flying away from that. Uh. I think that's a bit big for us still. Nope. Okay, I guess we can't get that. Alright. We'll try for this. Do do do! Yeah, so I'm new, obviously. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Ah, uh, I'm having a good time, though. Maybe after we nom this, if we can nom this. So it looks like it might actually be a little big. Uh oh. Oh, heck. I assume blue stuff is worth more because it's shiny. Uh oh, that's gonna hit us. Ow! Get in! Get in my mouth! Oh, you silly thing! Oh, okay. Right, where did that other bit go? Right, we're going to chase after this for a while, and then we're going to head home. Okay, I think shiny blue stuff might be beryllium. Leaving rings area? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I'd like to catch this first? Uh, hey, listen, look, says, would you like some advice about movement mechanics to make your life a bit easier? Yes, I very much would. That sounds excellent. I currently don't know, as they say in the trade, shit about shit. Right, let's not this. Right. I guess I'll continue leaving the ring? I don't really know how to say, like, yes, I'm ready to leave the ring. It just says continue. Well, I'm I'm continuing. <laughs> okay, it's put me on a return trajectory. Pulse. Oh, boop, boop, boop. oh, we have a stereochromus. Hello there. How's it going? Oh god, we're we flying all the way out. I suppose, of course, we're flying all the way out to Enceladus. Why wouldn't we? Um, it said it was an Enceladus station. All right, achievement unlocked. Enceladus Prime. I've got stuff. I don't know what this means. <laughs> if I'm honest with you. I don't know why this all says Rapid Marsupial either. I assume that's the name of my ship? <laughs> I, I didn't pick that. Uh... Oh, okay, apparently we've picked up 237 kilos of, of beryllium in this. That's quite a lot of beryllium, actually. Uh... I also... Okay, we've got some tungsten. We've got a lot of tungsten, I guess. Some PD? I don't know what PD is off the top of my head. Might be palladium? Uh, we've got some beryllium, we've got some water. Water is... We've got loads of it, but it's very cheap. And beryllium and tungsten are definitely the money makers. Okay, we'll sell all, I guess? I don't see why we wouldn't just yet. Repairs. Uh, okay, so currently... Oh, pot of gold! Make my first million! I don't think I have made my first million game, but okay. 
Uh, you sure about that? Uh, okay, I don't seem to be able to fix anything. I can replace things, but I can't fix them. Sure, okay. Services. Uh... What does this do? I don't know. <laughs> um, I was expecting a slightly more in-depth tutorial than this. I won't lie. Uh, we have the mineral market. New slide to the right to buy minerals. Okay, so I can sort of stock market it if I want to. I don't currently want to do that. Tuning. Adjusts the amount of reaction mass that gets pumped into the thruster. High is better thrust, but the thrust will consume more propellant. Will need more heat and will wear out quicker. Lowering mass flow prolongs the life of fragile thrusters. I think we're probably fine as we are in default. Uh, oh, we have, we have equipment. I don't really know what any of these do. So that's fine. I seem to have some empty things that I could do stuff with. But I don't really know what they do. So that's fine. Uh, the dealer. I guess we can buy different ships? Which is interesting. They're obviously very, very expensive right now. Uh, Fleet. We only have one. It's the Rapid Marsupial. Can I change its name? Switch ship. Sell ship. I don't want to do either of those. Okay, I guess I can't. That's fine. Uh, crew, we don't have any crew. Logs, we don't have any logs. Launch ring dive. Don't know what these do. Do I... How do I refuel? This might be a really silly question. How do I refuel? Or do I refuel automatically? What I don't know is why I would want to buy time at a hotel. I guess I'll just do another dive? Oh, I can dive into like anywhere. Uh... Okay, and then they cost different amounts. So home and transfer costs 3,000 to go back in, whereas if I want to go, like, even remotely deep, it costs many tens of thousands. So, like, for example, this is the Kila Gap. To get to the Kila Gap would cost me 90-something thousand, which is more than I have. So I guess we're going for a home and transfer. If we're not refueled, then I don't know what we're going to do, because eventually we'll run out of fuel and I don't have to fix it. Oh, here we go. This is us. Oh, God. Okay. Lots of stuff on screen. I clicked OK. That might have skipped the cutscene. Emergency autopilot will take over if your ship moves too fast in relation to the rings. Got it. Okay, we have refueled. That's great news. Right. Uh... Oh, I forgot I never found out how to engage the autopilot, but that's fine, because we don't really have anything that we're autopiloting towards. I assume that it's sort of the case that 
the deeper you go into the rings, the better. Let's approach this big bit and see if we can, like, numb a bit off. I kind of want to see what this thing is. Um, but I think we have kind of sort of got the whole game now. Uh... Whoa, Nelson. Let's just slow that down a bit. Okay, though, so breaking up a big bit doesn't seem to give us anything particularly useful. Oh, I missed. Can't believe I just missed. Because it just breaks into these smaller bits. Uh... I don't seem to be able to then eat. So I guess we want to go for like a medium sized bit. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. No, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to press that button. What's the. That's the open button. There we go. Whoops. Okay, we spent a little bit of mass drive that we didn't need to. That's fine. We've got our first bit of salvage. Wonderful. What's it got? It's got some platinum in it. And some water. Okay. Uh, you can autopilot move relative to something by clicking and dragging. Hang on a sec. I'm going to slow down slightly as I get approach. Uh, and get this into my my inventory. Tasty, tasty. You can autopilot move relative to something by clicking and dragging the lock on circle with your left mouse button. Or relative to your ship by clicking and dragging basically anywhere. Change your angle by dragging the right mouse button. Gotcha. Okay, right. Let's blow it up. Go after this. What I find interesting is the, the estimated composition seems to go up and down quite a lot. Okay. Uh, we seem to have moved quite far in the rings. I can't see that uh, that lump in space that was there. I kind of want to turn this way and go further in just to see what's there. Oh look! There we go. That's there. Oh, we've lost all of the stuff that we had written on the screen as well, so that's I suppose I'm fine. I don't really quite know. Like what the scale is? I don't know how far I have to go to actually reach this interesting lumpy bit. I don't know if that's like a practical goal to set myself. Oh, that looks achievable. I want to slow down a little bit. Also want to make sure we're not going to hit this, because that would be bad. Okay, that's still a bit too close in for that. It's okay. Just a little closer. Get a nom going on. Don't know if this is a bit of something I exploded or just a random bit. I'm assuming it's just a random bit. The the 
visual feed up here, which I think sort of gives me an idea of how deep I am, seems to kind of zoom in and out, irrespective of what I'm doing. Uh, pressing J brings up an important menu system. Yes, this, but I don't really understand it. Ah, uh, so I can't easily use it. Because I don't know what it's telling me. Like, I can... It, it's telling me I've maybe got a misalignment? But I don't know why? I would have a misalignment? Okay, we'll slow down a little bit. Uh, anything... Ten meters per second is probably an acceptable approach speed. I see. This is a real big fella. Don't know if I can actually get anything usable out of that. We'll give it a go. What did you break into? Whoopsies. Let's not hit you. Okay, you don't break into anything useful for us. Oh god, the uh, screen is going a bit slow. Those are for if you damage something. Check the other tabs on that menu too. Ah! Oh! Excellent! I can plot a course! Ah! Oh god, I don't know what I've done! Help! 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 <laughs> Where have I plotted the course to? I can't seem to move this at all. Oh! That, it's in Cellar's Prime Station. I see. Gotcha. Right. That's the only thing I can target. Okay. Geologist. This doesn't help me very much. Because I don't know how to target specific things. None of these seem to do anything. Oh, it turns water off and I can't turn it back on again. That's fine, okay. Pilot. Hello? I'm speaking with someone, I don't know... I don't know who this is! Uh... I can give you some money. I don't know who you are or where you are. Oh, you this? Oh, okay. I guess I can lend them some money, right? I don't really have any ore to spare because I haven't picked any up yet. Uh... I can I can afford to splash out like a thousand on you. Thanks, Ringa, I really appreciate this. You're welcome. Okay. Well, whatever I was doing, I've aborted doing it, so that's probably good. When we get a little closer, I'm going to uh, shoot this. I'm concerned that we don't have a lot of stuff in our hold currently. See, I wonder if that's something I can actually just eat as it is. You know. Like, it's definitely small. But is it small enough? Because it looks really tiny until you zoom in like this, and then suddenly you're like, oh, actually those things are huge! You can only eat it if it's in a flashing green box. Okay, I see. Thank you, that's a very helpful tip. Do. Uh oh. I 
think there was stuff flying out of me then. Whoops. Okay, let's track to this. Amazing. Oh god, it, it actually costs quite a lot to just wander around, doesn't it? Why you go in my hold? That's, it's like caught in my mouth, I think. Can't really quite tell. It'll probably be fine. Oh, okay, these are really big boy asteroids now. Hello. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to. Can I hail you? Oh, that's the same one. Hail. Hi there. There's a challenge I for beware the orbit. Okay. Uh, right. Hang on. Let's. Whoa, Nelson, 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 ow, ow. I didn't want to hit that. Oh, it's that button. That's the stop button, goddammit. Pushing the wrong heckin' buttons. Okay. Ow. Uh, right. Now it'll, this'll tell me what I hit, right? Nothing looks hit. Nothing's changed. Oh, I can turn things on and off. Okay. Right, good. Let's not mess with the... Oh, God! Is that because I turned the computer off? <laughs> okay, note to self, do not turn computer off. That gave me absolutely nothing. You're rubbish. Oh, hello. There was something. Ah. Gimme gimme! Oh, my jaws won't close again. Hang on, I gotta stop. Fuck here. Swivel to face you. Uh, you didn't give me anything. Well, we seem to be doing fine for ammo. It is mostly fuel that we use. Okay. Get the capture. Fuck. Uh, okay, we're near loads of big asteroids that are really too big for us. I guess I've kind of gone a little too far in. Although there is that out there. Uh, hang on. There they go. Right, I can... Nope, okay, that didn't really work. Ow! Right, if I pull down here, I slow down relative to it. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, what did I hit then? Still can't tell. Everything seems to be mostly sort of flying over here. So we're going to assume that everything is fine. Haha. <laughs> Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Never under any circumstances know what you're doing. Everything is flying out of my mouth because it's being very inconvenient for some reason. 
Okay, we actually got some stuff inside us. Wonderful. Oh, that looks promising over there. Hey, boom boom. <laughs> I see them. I see them eyes. Uh, nothing. Okay, fine. I guess that was too small. Anything for us? Maybe we just can't detect bits at this range? Or maybe the bits were too big. Okay. There's gonna be a sweet spot. We just have to find it. Uh, we don't... Our cargo hold is, is moderately full. It's a lot less... It's a lot more full than it was last time we returned home. And we made a decent profit out of that? Uh, what I would like is if I sort of knew... Oh look, it's up here. I can see the, oh, up there if there's anyone nearby that I can like hail. Anything? Maybe the thing that tells me whether a thing is going to be valuable or not is going to be an upgrade that I get later. Oh, we've gone quite deep! We've nearly reached whatever this lumpy thing is on the map. No, we haven't. Never mind. <laughs> it just zoomed in. It's like, nope, no you didn't. Uh... This is like shiny in all the right ways. Uh oh! Oh, Nelson! Oh boy! Oh, I broke that with my thrusters. I suppose that makes sense, the thing you can do. Uh oh, can we stay on target for this please? Oh boy! That's a big rock! That is a big rock! That was a very big rock! That was a much bigger rock than I wanted! <laughs> Luckily, I don't think anything's died. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah, the way the, the stuff in your cargo hold sloshes around is certainly interesting. It's not how I would have designed a cargo hold. To be honest, I would have given it the means to... I'm a bit worried about this. To be honest. Uh... You're so lucky I have no idea I haven't damaged anything at all! Uh oh. Oh, bop 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 bop. Uh, if it's any consolation, I also don't know how I haven't damaged anything at all, because I feel like... Oh! That gave me lots of little things, apparently. I feel like I've had some pretty bad collisions. Collisions of the sort I wouldn't want if I was flying around in space. Oh, I think we've got someone new on our scanner. Hello? MRS. Oh, these are actually two different ships. Watch out, Rapid Marsupial, there are nuclear residues around, I smell piracy. Okay. Good to know. That would be MRS 8167 then, who's not open on hailing frequencies. I think we might have gone far enough into the rings for one day. You know. Uh, hang on, wait, I've got autopilot. Enceladus Prime, plot a course. Wait, hang on, is this them? This is them! Hello! Oh god, that, okay, that aborts my thing, does it? Oh my god! 
proximity alert active. Hi there. Oh, look, they just shot that. But I can go and get one of the other pieces. Oh, God, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know what happened. I guess we left. I I was sort of I thought we'd sort of stopped leaving, but apparently not. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened, but I guess we came home. Ah, uh, see, when you look at it like this, it feels like we grabbed almost nothing. Uh, we certainly grabbed a lot less value than last time, but I guess you know to some extent, so long as we're making a profit. What repairs do I need? Apparently still... Well, this says it's a 78%. But I still can't fix it. I don't quite know how that works. It's a 22% misalignment. I would like it to be on no percent misalignment, to be honest. Uh... But I can also, I can only replace some things. You can only fix things that are damaged enough. Okay, I see. Gotcha. All right, well, let's have a look at some of the other stuff that I have. Because I have some empty hard points, right? I can put stuff on them. So an external impact absorber, cradle mounted, what the hell? Uh, hang on, Different. go back, okay. Cradle mounted impact absorber, whilst it's for high mass, low velocity collisions common in the rings. Microwave beams and laser beams. Does not provide suitable production for high velocity impacts of mass drivers. Cradle can be disengaged in the emergency. Oh, we have a Shaka! Welcome, Shaka! How's it going? We are playing a new game that is. It's very physics! Um, and not enormously well explained? So I'm just kind of winging it, which is ironic, seeing as we're in space. Uh, but I, I'm sort of... I, I own a mining ship. Hey, listen, look, says, I suggest a crew before heading off. You might be able to hire someone who can help you. Okay. Hire. So what does... What do these people do? Haha. <laughs> uh... Like, you're a geologist. That sounds useful. You're a mechanic. That also sounds useful. Oh, okay. It says here, price prediction accuracy. Will, will that give me price prediction? Because I currently don't have price prediction. Geologists will estimate compositions and prices of minerals around your ship. That's great. Also, is this salary like a one-time cost, or is it an actual salary, like I pay her per dive? That's also very important to find out. Ashaka did a uni today. Got your timetable, you think you'll be able to have some sort of stream schedule now? That's excellent news! I, I heard that you met all of the youths, uh, and that you have some, some daughters now, I think you said. Your teenage daughters. <laughs> Wonderful. How do you feel? How do you feel being a parent? Is it is it suiting you well so far? Two of them are still seventeen. My gosh. We didn't have. We had a couple of seventeen-year-olds, but we didn't have many seventeen-year-olds. Um, at a. Uh, oh, okay. So you are. You're a much cheaper geologist, but you only give me, like, one triangle of price prediction accuracy instead of 
three triangles? It's the biggest responsibility to show the man. That 18 sinners. Okay, that's probably fine. Um. <laughs> oh, you, you're like a middling geologist. Because you're not as expensive as this one, but you're better than the cheap one. Oh, and you're really expensive, but you're actually only about as good. Wait, you have no experience? Education master. Experience, no experience. But, like, you're exper educated self-taught. You're self-taught pilots. You're a self-taught geologist. <laughs> you're just a person. <laughs> That's just a person. Um. Let's see, look, he's actually educated. He gives us course anticipation. Oh, you have experience. You're the first person we met with experience. And then you're an ex an expert pilot. The expert pilot costs as much as like the middling geologist did. Uh I see, okay. I don't really understand what I'm looking for, so I might get the middle geologist. Because having some price prediction would probably be helpful. So I've hired you. Oh, hello! Hello there! Um... When in danger, pilot's perception of time slows down. Course uh, anticipation. Predict the course of your ship. Okay. So that's moderately useful, I guess, but not more useful than the geologist. And you're an astrogator. I like ships surrounded by the transponders. So, so it looks like whoever that is behind you has a colander on their head! Oh yeah, you can't see them properly, hang on. Do do do. Right, let's move little Lizzie. There, there she is. Um... I, I, I don't, I don't really know what, uh... What I want from... I don't think I need this person? Particularly? Um, like a pilot, maybe? Like, if it... It depends. If this course anticipation thing shows me my course, then that's great. If it's just that she knows my course enough to activate her adrenal slowdown ability, that's completely useless. So I think we're just going to stick with the geologist for now. Uh, I wanted to go back to equipment and see what the other things I could have on these were. It would be nice if I could see where this was on my ship. Uh... Oh, maybe that is what I'm seeing. Okay, so this is the mass driver. We've already got one of those. This is a rail gun. So this is, I guess, very much like that. Sure. B8 claim beacon. Deploy by disabling the hardpoint and moving away. Create a temporary waypoint for a fee. Well, that's rubbish. Empty cradle arm can catch drones and life pods, I guess. Microwave emitter deals thermal electromagnetic damage. See, that seems more useful. Although it does seem to also be tied to the same button as my mass driver, which isn't useful. 
Automatically stores processed ores. Requires a mineral processing unit. Which I don't have. Uh, I have an ultra capacitor. I don't know what this does. Oh, it stores electricity. Sure, fine. Um, if I can bind this to a separate button. I assume that this is going to be useful to me in some way. Possibly by doing like slightly less damage than the mass driver to get those sort of slightly too big to eat rocks down into eatable size. But if I can't rebind it, then it is worse than useless because it's sort of consuming stuff and not giving me any benefits. So I guess we're going to leave it for now? And just go diving again? So here is, here is this. If I wanted to go visit that, that costs like all the money I have. That's extremely expensive. I guess we're not going to do that still. And it says Hitler draws ever nearer. I think we're just going to go diving again. We're going to see how good the geologist is for us. We have this little thing where we... Oh, hello. I've got my UI up. We get dropped out of the station. Uh, Shaka says, I have some HK practice. You've got the jump skip instead of bouncing off the mosquito boy. I don't know what that is, but I'm very pleased for you. Hitler's jaws ever nearer. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Bald of Gitri will consume your life. Well, I mean, won't it consume all of ours, really? Let's be honest. Okay. So, here we are on our ring dive. We have our map. Oh, I've got a geologist tab. Like, I've got my geologist in the geologist tab. It, it would be nice. Okay, this is actually changing what dots appear. But it's kind of weird because it... Some dots appear or change as I go up. So I'm not quite sure how that works. Okay. So can I, if I zoom out, can I learn any information about this rock when I'm on this screen? Somehow. Uh. The answer appears to be no. Which is a shame. Why? Stop that. Okay. I can't sort of zoom in either on this page, which is a shame, because that would be nice. Uh, maybe once I blow it up, it will give me more of an idea. So let's go for this one, it's slightly bigger. When we get a little bit closer, I'll... pop a thing on it. Okay, let's blow it up. Oh, that didn't kill it. Uh... Wait, I saw something briefly, and then it went. Okay. I guess no luck for us today. Ah! 
there we go. Right, so this is worth 1,000. Okay, ish. Whoa, that's quite a... Okay, the rotational thrusters are quite powerful. But we only see stuff that we can eat. On this screen. So that's worth noting. Uh, Boomer says, you caught your stampy little boy Fampy in RimWorld. I do love Fampy to pieces. So that was a very good call by you. Okay, we still can't see what this is worth at this point. Does it have to be within a certain range before we can see what it's worth? Yes, okay. So this one's worth like 5,000. Okay, I guess with a better geologist we'd be able to work it out from further away, or maybe when it's in a bigger chunk. I gotta figure out how to get a bigger, a bigger mouth. I think is going to be important, so I can eat bigger rocks. I assume that's a thing. Uh, get ready for the nom. Oops, let's have you. Anything? Oh, this is worth like 9,000. Amazing. <laughs> Apple tossing and a bigger mouth. What a combination. Yep, that's the, that's the dream, I guess. Uh, other way, other way. Uh oh, uh oh, all of our stuff's flying out. Uh oh. That's fine. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, this look says, oh no. Uh oh, what have I done? What have I done that's oh no worthy? <laughs> oh god. Anything for us to eat this, but it's too big. Uh, it's coming right at us. You were just worried all the expensive stuff was going to go zooming off into space. I was also worried. <laughs> And nom that one, there we go. I also, I don't really know what like, I don't know what a good find is, particularly. Like is, is 3000 a good find? I'm assuming probably not. Is 9000 a good find? Like I guess that's the, the tungsten one, right? So I assume that's unusual and rare. Oh, see, look, because there were two there, and if I'd, if I'd got like a, a, I guess a better geologist, I would have been able to figure out which one to go chase, right? Uh, uh oh, we're entering kind of a large asteroid field. Uh oh, avoid that, avoid that. There we go. No, keep, keep. Whoopsies. Uh oh. Go forward. Not that forward. Stop, you bloody thing. Ah! The autopilot is a menace to society. It really is. Oh god, I'm gonna hit that. 
Ow! Ow! I think I lost something, but I'm not sure. Oh god, I'm going quite fast right now. I don't know if this is one I had already, but I want to get it back because it's expensive. Ow. Oh god. Okay, can I just stop, please, before I hit something and do myself a real mischief? Right, how bad was that hit? Uh, hey listen, look, so there's nothing that might help, especially start running to asteroids. If you hold F, it gives you a targeting system. Okay. Oh! How does this help me? Exactly. I don't really know. Oh, I guess this is just my mass driver? Where it's gonna fire? Anything? You give me nothing. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. Ah, you give me something. I think... Oh god, this is worth 15,000. If I can nab this. I think I would like... Oh god, where'd it go? Come back. That is not what I wanted. I lost the thing I wanted. Great, wonderful. I was going to say, I think I would like a weapon that is kind of a bit less all or nothing than this mass driver. Like, it just kind of obliterates stuff. And sends it off sometimes at huge velocities. Uh, park, please. Thank you. And you know, sometimes I'd like to. Ah, uh... oh, hang on. Hey, look. This says you can manage change the angle of target by holding right click. Oh yes, that'll help you target with the system. It's not really more accurate than just auto targeting, just faster. Okay. Well, faster can still be good. Especially when I'm in like a life or death chase with a piece of debris across the cosmos. Nope, that's too big. I really need a bigger mouth. Oh, there was something. I got a brief glimpse of something. It's going into this asteroid field. And I don't think it's safe for me to follow. It doesn't help that every time I... Because I'm using the keys. Uh-oh. Uh I've hit something, I think. I don't know what it was, but I seem to have lost my original target. So I guess we're going to have to write that off. Anything? No, all too big. I guess there's a there's a sweet spot for size that I haven't quite grasped. Why are you going so fast, my guy? Chill out! Oh fudge, that's the wrong button. That button. <laughs> I pull over like, hang on a sec, because when I when I when I have something targeted, let's, let's flip over to this for a sec. I know we're spending that precious fuel, and I pull this. He keeps firing long after I've like finished pulling. I haven't quite figured out why, because I don't want him to. I would very much like for him to stop firing when I stop pulling. In fact. What would be ideal? Hmm. 
You got nothing for me, really? Oh, you got two big bits! Ah! I really need to make a mouth. Because these... I suppose I can thrust at them. Because my thrusters break rocks, right? Oh, okay. Not much, though. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out the, the auto fly. Well, just yet. I'm sure I will in time. Okay. Uh. Oh, hello, what's this? Can we slow down a little bit relative to it, please? Also vaguely worried about what we're flying towards. Okay, 11, 10 meters per second seems to be a relatively safe intercept velocity. So, you know, am I going to hit this thing? It's blue. Blue is normally good. Blue is beryllium. I guess we're going to find out if 13 meters per second is a safe. Okay, 13 meters per second is safe. Apparently. Got anything? We do got some. Oh my god, it's going very fast! Uh, let's not chase that. Jesus. Oh, that's full of platinum. Let's go grab that. Oh, that's only worth 1500 really? Hold on, you. Wonderful. Why are my thrusters still firing when I'm not, like, oriented at anything? Oh, okay, so I've got this. These, This marker. Is this telling me, like... Okay. Oh, I understand how this works now! So when I click and drag, I've got, like, the, um, the octagonal one is my target vector, my target speed and direction. And then the diamond one is my... My actual current one. Uh oh. Oh, that's tungsten. No, mine. Uh, sort of. Hang on a sec. It's, it's stuck in me mouth. I've got teething problems again. Alright, open. Nope, it's still a little stuck. It's fine. Nope, no, 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 no. Don't eat every. Don't lose everything. There we go. Okay. Sirkum so says, "Wasn't this game the Jingle Jam Bundle?" Quite possibly. But that might be where I picked it up from. Okay, our Delta V now is in the red. I don't know how far into the red we can go before bad things happen. So, also our cargo space is a little full, so I'm going to just pop one more. Uh, other way, other way, other way. I'm going to see if I can grab this. Oh, it's because there's two bits plugging up the entryway. That's what the problem is. I really need a bigger mouth. That's super annoying. Oh, 
<laughs> That'll explain why it's in your Steam library as well. Yes, it would. I, I do love that about the the Jingle Jam bundle. Separately to all the actual good they do, is it means that you kind of you share games with people a lot when you don't necessarily expect to. If I can just kill my velocity. Can I open this? Just jiggle a bit so that they go in better. Okay, if I start going backwards, um, go backwards a bit faster, and then <sighs> these jaws are absolutely rubbish. Because I want to go home, but I, I'm worried that these things are technically outside. And because there's two of them, I can't seem to sort of get them to cooperate. I'm going to spend all my Delta V trying to swallow these properly, aren't I? Um, okay, can we? Uh-oh. Because they're like, they nearly line up nicely to go in. I'm wondering if the best thing to do is just actually to like, leave them behind, weirdly. If you hail pilots, I might get unique interactions with my crew. Oh, interesting. I haven't actually looked for any pilots nearby. Apparently there are some. There's this one. Map of the marsupial are not on my guild manifest. Please stand clear of excavation area. Um... Kelly Yates, geologist. Stella. Oh! Okay, amazing! Exactly what Hey Listen Look said might happen, just happens. Um, I tell you what though, I don't have... I don't seem to have any other options. Like I can't, I can't speak to them anymore. Oh, and now I can't hail this person either. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that. Like if I leave and go back in, nothing happens. Okay, so here's my cunning plan. Oh, hello! Do Tamara and Marius still fly with you? They finally got married and moved to Obonto 3. Guess it's hard for Ringos to abandon the rings. There we go! Look at that! Okay. Uh, I don't really want to hit that thing. So we're just going to stop. Oh look, I've got an, uh, a new option. Do you know any trade opportunities out here? We picked up something big at the end of Lila range, deeper in. And what did that give us? Big! Oh my god, that was very far away. That's a lot deeper in. Big LiDAR con contact. I see, okay. That will take us one day and 11 hours to get to. I assume that's not real time? But I don't actually know. Either way, I kind of feel like we should go home. Uh, it says match velocity to trajectory, but I don't understand. Uh, I don't... It seems to be going up now, so I'm going to assume that this is all fine. Uh, please don't smash me into the asteroids. Okay, okay. I guess you phase through the asteroids when you're on way, or your way out, but Jesus. Um, okay, so going home doesn't actually use very much fuel at all, it seems. All right. Oh, look, see, that was a much... Now that we've got our friend, our geologist friend, that was a much more profitable venture. I still don't see a reason not to sell all. Uh, like, maybe there will be one. Oh, I guess if the... Like, it's the stock market, isn't it?
Okay. Alright, repairs. Still nothing is damaged enough, despite a few close calls. Uh... And it doesn't seem like I have to pay... Oh, hang on, look. There's this down here. Wait, big LiDAR contact. Oh my god, that still costs so much money to get there. I think we're just kind of too small pry for stuff like this still. Which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Okay, let's let's think about equipment then. Uh Right, so this is my mass driver. Let's get rid of the simulation because it's really annoying. Um So we have the mining laser option, that's very expensive. I guess they use different things, so like... Deals mild kinetic and heavy thermal damage. Draws propellant from the main tanks though, that sounds bad. Oh wait, what's this? Automatically catches ships, small asteroids, and ore. An AR-1500 manipulator. Derelict or disabled pirate ships can be claimed upon return to this station. Will attempt to move core items into the cargo bay when you open the excavator. Okay, so that sounds very useful. Can I put that on a low stress hub? No. Oh no wait, hang on, maybe. Deploy by powering down the arm and moving away. We'll gather all automatically. Oh, it's like a little buddy! Okay, I see. Gotcha. Uh, but you know, I can't. I can't have a a big helping hand on a on a high stress on a low stress hard point. I can only put it on a high stress one. Um, I don't have any nano drone components. Basic nano drone storage. What do they do? Watching this. I'm waiting to see what will happen. Absolutely nothing is happening. Okay, we don't know what they do. Um, where is mouth? <laughs> Which one of these is my mouth? Maybe cargo bay? Cargo bay baffles. Prevents cargo from being ejected during deceleration but takes up some space. Doesn't protect all cargo. <laughs> that sounds quite useful. Um, what's this? Okay, so this is a processor. It, it converts ore chunks into processed ore, replenishes propellant. Because ore to be in the processing chamber. Okay. These both do that. Okay. A Voyager fabrication plant. Because all chunks of the process door, replenishes propellant, requires all to be in the processing chamber. Power current speeds, blah, 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 produces kinetic ammunition. Okay. Not really what I wanted. What I wanted was kind of a, a, like I say, a bigger mouth. A bigger tank as well would be great. Um, we've got fuel rods. Provides heat. 
I don't feel like I, I need that. I wouldn't mind a bigger fuel tank. Pants on separately at five star. Oh yeah, of course, because like a pallet tank will let me go longer, but without a bigger cargo bay, that doesn't really help me. I haven't figured out how to get a bigger cargo bay yet. Like I've just got standard cargo bay and then upgrades to it. Maybe I need a better ship for that. Cargo bay, 128 meters cube. How do I see what mine is? <laughs> um, fleet? Open marsupial. Examine ship. Okay, so that's the same cargo bay size as mine. Oh look, I can see this. So this doesn't have a high stress hard point at all. It has a grinder? What does mine have? This has an excavator. Okay. I don't really know what a grinder does, but I assume it, it grinds things that you bump into? So it's like a different way of recovering stuff, and that's why it doesn't have the high stress hardpoint, perhaps? I mean, it's a, it's a long way out of my price range. What would be nice if these were ordered in in like a sensible fashion, but they're not. This is a huge boy. Cargo bay, 400 meters cubed. Whereas like this guy, these guys are basically the same as me. Oh my god, this thing's enormous! Look at how big this is! This is so much bigger than that, and it's got a smaller cargo bay. Uh, it has six docking bays. Oh, so this carries other ships. I see, right. Okay, basically we are we are not even close to being able to afford like a better ship, is what I'm getting here. Uh, we need to like double our money to get a better ship. And even then, it might be a bit get one with an arrangement we actually like. Because I'm assuming we want one central high stress hardpoint, or at least we want one central hardpoint to stick our driver onto? Although I suppose having like twin microwave ones might be fine? Question mark? <laughs> Okay, I can actually afford a ship of this size if I trade in the ship I already have. I'm not going to do it, but I could. Alright, I guess we're just going to launch a ring dive again. And we're just going to go for another little shallow thing, because it's all we can sort of really afford. Red contacts on the Doppler LiDAR are moving away from you, blue are getting closer. It's kind of annoying that your ship slows down when you can't control it, and then the first thing I do is like speed it back up again, because I want to go a little bit deeper into the rings. It feels silly. Oh look, we've got these things, I don't really understand what they are. Oh, I've got pings going on. Oh, I ping when I when I hover over an asteroid. I guess that looks like a good one to start with. Okay. 
Also, I haven't quite worked out what a good engagement range is. Like, 300-ish meters seems to work out pretty well. Uh, you're all too small. Right, here's my plan. I'm gonna use my thrusters to blow, blow it up. It didn't work. Well, I mean, it did work, but it didn't give me anything. So it was a waste of... gonna try and get both of them at once. Didn't work. It was a nice nice thought. Cause your your stuff, your the stuff you shoot does seem to like pass through things. I haven't yet quite worked out if it gets deflected at all. Okay, so PD, Palladium isn't actually worth that much. Really. I also completely forgot to check how much it actually cost me to launch this dive. Which is unfortunate. Because that would have been good to know. But I'm assuming it's a lot less than we we made on the last one. You have to be, uh, with my geologist, I have to be quite close to something to actually evaluate it. I'm gonna go not too fast, because I am a little worried that I've just sort of gone into a bit of a debris field. I think that might be about to hit this other rock. No, it just missed. More palladium. Uh, hey, let's look, says the real annoyance. So when you find something that weighs like 8,000 kg and is only worth 200, that does sound annoying. I am definitely not in the 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 space where I'm even sort of like I'm just kind of grabbing what I've got. Uh, you know, I'm not really feeling like I can be picky. Hello. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh, ah, uh, oh, but, ow, I forgot to turn my thing on, ah! I've got to open my mouth, but oh, I didn't get it, <laughs> there we go, we got it now. Anything? Yes. It's mostly iron. Uh, did that go in? Who knows? Not me. Um, you say when you have the crew to feed, it feels like a waste of resources. Yeah. So what's what's the deal with crew? 
Oh god, hang on, come back. Cause I, I know I have a crew, but I don't really know how she works. Besides the fact that she gives me the benefit that she gives me. Uh-oh, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, shit. Excuse my French. Yeah, that didn't work at all. I was trying to go sideways to avoid it, and so I just turned. Uh... Ow. Alright, we'll have a look at the damage in a sec. I've also, I've already got down, like, half my fuel. Okay. Right, that did damage some thrusters quite a lot. Um, which is fine. Oh, I forgot, there's also like wear, which I don't really know how much it's costing me yet. So maybe all of these kind of unprofitable missions will turn out to have been a mistake. Oh, that's a really valuable one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's about it with the geologist. She helps you find things worth stuff you pay her. You're not entirely sure how payment works precisely. That's a shame, because neither am I. Uh um, All I know is that, like, she has a cost. Uh, are we gonna avoid hitting things? Okay, let's slow down. Got there was something. Right, we can go a little bit more slowly now. Pick up this, which is very valuable. Turn off my bloody things right now. Turn them back on when we're closer. Good boy. Did we get anything? Yes. Uh, I don't think it's worth very much. It's not worth very much. So we're gonna leave it. You're just gonna see it's per trip or hourly daily. Uh, if it's per trip, I'm kind of fine with that because she's not that expensive. If it's per some other unit of time, then I could be setting myself up for, like, massive failure, and I wouldn't even know. Uh, Shaq has just spent 20 minutes trying to get one of the cats in, because you're heading to bed soon. Oh, I hope you succeeded. Obviously, I will be sad to lose you when it is Shaq at bedtime, but I understand how it works. Oh, you're fairly valuable. Are you going to hit that? No, you're not. Um, I'll have that as well, please. Oh, okay, that's my target then. Gimme! May have been a may have been a little ambitious. Okay, so iron is worth something. Uh, okay, we're down a bit low already. I reckon we have fifty one k in the tank. the 
the stuff. I'd like to catch up to it sooner rather than later because we are coming close to these things. Oh, there's something down here. There's that tiny little rock that we threw off earlier that wasn't worth very much. Uh, we are rapidly coming towards these other rocks. I would like to not hit them, please. Got my finger on the stop button. Seeing as it's right there, you know, thought we might as well. Okay, we're doing quite well. We've filled our hold fairly effectively. This is not worth very much. But we're going in roughly the right direction anyway, because we're going further in. So we might as well kind of pick it up now that we've course corrected for it. it doesn't cost us anything. Uh, I think there's someone on my thing that is. BLT. Two, three. Hello. Well met, Rapid Marsupial. Any good veins not nearby? You're still in the shallows, Royal Laughter. The other one is practically vapor. Check the visual feed for thicker ice. Oh, I guess that's what the lumps are. My geologist knows this person as well. Hi! <laughs> Do you just know everyone? <laughs> I've picked up, like, the socialite. Oh, hello, rock. We should catch up, get a drink. Uh... Sure, call me up back on the station. Do you know any trade opportunities? If you're on the Abonto habitat, talk about the point defense licensing. Thanks, I guess. Also, I also don't know how to close this conversation to hail the other ship. Um, I guess that ship didn't have anything for us. That rock, even. Ah, I tried to get it too far. I did not succeed. Oh, all of these things just keep giving... Oh, don't do that. Uh-oh, that was a bit big. They just keep giving me rocks that are a bit... too big. Might it just be that I'm too far out? That could be the problem. Because I'm zoomed out, they seem smaller than they are. So they break up into bigger pieces than I'm actually expecting. I just realized my total ship mass is yellow. I don't really know what that means. Can I not afford to get too heavy? Or does it just mean that, like, because my ship mass is so heavy, I'm spending more fuel to get around? Uh, this is V. I don't know off the top of my head what V is. But it's worth, like, 6k. So I'm not mad to have it. Uh, okay. Whoa, let's, uh, slow that one right down. Anything? There was something. Where's it gone? Whoa, Nelson! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Uh oh! That's my V! Come back! Or that's someone else's V. One of the two. Get in my belly! Okay. We are a bit low on space. 
We are a bit low on fuel too. I'm somewhat inclined to just pop one more. Let's actually go for that one. It's a bit of science. See if it drops anything for us. Uh oh. Are we gonna hit that? Okay. Where do you go? I've decided to get this one instead on account of it nearly killed us. <laughs> Not me. Um, I guess. I see. I I still don't know how low I can kind of afford to go. You know, the fact that it's red troubles me. Where are you? But it's been red for like the last hundred or so. on this guy as well because we happen to be here. Yeah, I could do with a bit more of a jealous upgrade just so I can kind of see things. Transit reserve is yellow. I don't know what my transit reserve is either. Uh, you also have no idea what the red delta V is you're afraid to find out? It'll be fine or it won't. Nom. All right. Well, let's let's head for home. Because this this isn't getting particularly close to zero. Like heading for home, it doesn't cost us very much. Like, I don't think we're going to go below 2,000. Uh, oh, more expensive is not always better. A ship can benefit more from specialised or more reliable parts. Yeah, so I'm assuming we can afford to kind of go down below 1,000? But I didn't, you know, I don't want to push it too much. Oh, look! Pilot the, the I got achievement. Pilot the thing for a while and fly with kinetic weapons for an hour. This is worth 64k. Sell it all. So I guess, like, what I'm really looking to do... Like, if I... So if I, if I look at the equipment... A new... EMD-14 mass driver costs me 10,000. Right? The existing one I have, if I want to trade it in, I only get 7,500. And I don't, I don't seem to have a way to store a piece of equipment that's not attached to my ship. So there's, there's a, a moderately significant cost. There's like a 25% cost to trying something out and deciding you don't like it. I like it, you know, although it's not amazing, I know this ship kind of works. So my sort of thinking is, I want to try for something else. Something that's got... What is this simply? Does anyone know? Uh, maybe that means it's going away soon? Who knows? 
But like I'd, I'd maybe like to get one that has this slightly different orientation and layout. With the bigger cargo bay and try a different loadout like the dual... Um, what's it called? Oh my god, this one's called the Moon's Exploder. That's great. I haven't also figured out quite what the difference is between these two. Oh, they, they come with different stuff! I hadn't realised! Okay, that'll be important later. Um, but yeah, try and get, like, a different one. And... Like, use its different loadout to try something new, like maybe the dual microwave emitters or something? Promotional. That's nice. That's in the late 21st century. It's an interlunar cargo hauler. The interplanetary first design is not well suited for a ring environment. The radiators are fragile, pylon based thrusters make maneuvering challenging. Converted life pod serves as a cockpit. Versus. Simple and robust. Okay. Uh, I just looks to see, imagine if you could just crash straight into Saturn in this game. That would be interesting. But yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna keep going until I can like afford a different ship. And then stick. Oh look, so some of them come in damaged. That's what the, 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 this means. It means that some of its components are already damaged. I see. So yeah, I, I kind of just want to... Like, try and get myself a new ship, and then try out some new stuff on the new ship, basically. Uh, until then, because I... Oh. Okay, my thrusters have failed. That means I need to go fix stuff. Repairs. Alright, okay, so fixing stuff is relatively cheap. Just hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Repair your ship. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so that's not so bad. Interestingly, my insurance has gone down. Huh. Alright. Let's launch a dive. Wait, what's this? Oh, the maintenance takes time. I see. So that's what these different things are. I don't necessarily know what the difference is or why you wouldn't choose the normal one, but yeah, affordable capsule hotel until then. Oh, I see! So we're actually tracking our movement relative to the rings? Because look, we used to be... I'm pretty sure we used to be in a different spot, and as, we, as time goes on, we are actually moving on this. Okay, I see. So if I like go here versus if I go like here for the same distance in, it can be more or less expensive. Also, we like things that we find, like that thing that was marked on our map before, no longer exists because it's moved out of our range, I guess. Okay. Sure. We're gonna pop into the rings. Get our velocity up so we can dive in a little lower. Uh, Shaq is going to have to bed. Have a good rest of stream. You'll catch you soon. Thank you so much for stopping by, Shaka. It's been a pleasure having you here. Um, and checking out this weird little game. It's not a little game. It's probably quite a big game. I imagine there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. I know there's like a super amazing, enormous ship that, uh, of all things, ironically, is named after Elon Musk. 
Um, okay, one of these two is probably going to be a good first target for us. Oh look, it goes red when it says we're going to hit it, that's nice. Okay, let's pop it. I missed, how did I miss? Okay, it gave us slightly too big bits, that's fine. Try this. Okay. Okay, not a bad start. Uh, that's probably a good size. It was a good size. See, we're, we're starting to learn like Starting only. Starting to learn what like the good sizes are, what the trap sizes are. Give it a nibble. Uh oh. Uh, that one's a lot more valuable. However, okay, it's fine. We, we always have loads of mass driver ammo. So I generally, as a rule, think it's kind of fine to, to blast that and get stuff out of our way. Can I speed up because we are drifting ever closer to that other rock? Okay, nothing. Oh! It's moving very fast. But it's what we want. I just got a blur blur blur. I don't know what that was. Was that someone hailing us? No, I'm good. Oh my god, she really does know everyone. They <laughs> let you in on another ship. Is this why? Is she unreliable? Um, okay, let's see what this is doing. The answer is it's bouncing off of that. Oh, that's some V. We like some V. V is good stuff. It is. Oh my gosh, and this is five thousands worth of platinum as well. Wonderful. a bit too big, I guess. Let's 
drift into the rings a little bit. Because we really are only, like, shallow diving. I'm also going sideways, but that's fine. <laughs> we don't need to be going forwards, it's space. Uh, this one here might be a good size for us to shoot. Possibly. Anything? Uh-oh. Oh no, all of our stuff! Oh god. Oh, all of our stuff is gone. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's gonna hit us. Okay, it's fine. Okay, well, we didn't get the thing we wanted. We're gonna get this other one instead. Ha! <laughs> uh, hey, listen, Luxilla, I guess the deeper in you get, the more money you make, and the more dangerous it gets. That is also the assumption I have. Okay, well, that was nearly a disaster, and that cost us, like, probably 400 bits of fuel. But it's okay, because we've recovered a thing. I don't think it's quite as valuable as the thing we missed out on, but it's, <laughs> you know, it's a lot better than losing everything. Uh-oh. The having it on middle mouse button and also trying to like um have your mouse open so having your mouse open and mouth open and also having to use click to control that's some platinum how much is it worth not much okay Let's assume this is going to be worth more. It is a little bit. Yeah. That can be kind of awkward. I also wish that I could remember what the easy button to turn off the autopilot was. It's not X. X, X turns on float me in place. I don't know why I tried X. It was a stupid thing to do. Okay, that one was too small. Uh, why is water so heavy in this game? Well, that probably is what it is. Why I run out of fuel as much as I do, isn't it? Okay, be a little careful as we go through these. Did you? For the valuable one. This is why we have a geologist, because I, I saw platinum and I was like, oh, that's going to be more valuable. Yeah, sometimes it's like I'm actually two handing the mouse, so I have one, one finger on the middle mouse and one on. Well, a finger from a different hand on. Uh, actual click. Right, what have we got? Couple thousands worth of stuff, that's fine. But yeah, like if we if we get so that we're kind of coming vaguely towards it, and then. We wait till we're close to actually turn that on, then we save fuel on our rotational thrusters. Right. Okay, that's the right size. This one might be a little big, but I think these are too small. I guess we're going to go for this one. 
was indeed too big. Oh, that one was, was about right. That was a good value as well. I should have gone for that. I should not have gone for that. That was a huge velocity change. For a, quite a small amount of tungsten. problems with our mouth again. You are also a small amount of tungsten. I think that other bit of tungsten that we had grabbed has just flown out of our mouth as well. Possibly. Great. Wonderful. This is not going to be a profitable endeavor. Oh look, you can see all of the stuff clogging up our mouth. Uh-oh. 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 Let's actually let's not slow down. Let's go deeper. Uh oh, that's going very fast. Ow! Oh shoot. Um Shit. Excuse my French, I'm spraying stuff everywhere. Oh crap. Excuse my French. All of my stuff. It's going everywhere. Let the other bit go. Hello, I need you. Oh Christ. This isn't good. I've hit one thing, I might be about to hit another thing. Slow down. Okay. Oh, this is closer and easier to get. So we'll get this. And then we'll get that. Okay, I've been very French tonight. Yeah, space travel is stressful. Who would have guessed? Uh-oh. You're gonna hit that. I would like to not hit that. So I'll help it. Yeah, I need a way to just like turn off what I'm doing. It's kind of quite awkward at the moment. Um. Okay, what's a good size chunk? That's a good size chunk. Down. Ow! I think that hit us. Didn't really see what it was. Ow, but it hurt. Let's see just how hurt. Oh Christ, it's the same bloody thrust as... No, it's not the same. That was the thrust we hit before. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. I guess we're gonna have to slow down at some point if we want to hit something, right? Oh, that's a good one. That's worth 10k on its own. 
Let's uh, let's pick that one up. Yeah. <laughs> We're now at Red Shipmast, though. I guess that means we want to be heading home soon. But yeah, that 10k bit is huge for us. Right, this ideally probably needs to be the last bit that we grab. thing it said it was going to hit. Good job. Sorry about that three, but it's okay. Oh, this is another good bit to have grabbed. I'm very glad I stopped to take this. Can I uh, also not hit that, please? Come to a stop. Explode that just because we can. We will. Plot a course for home. Okay, okay, it tells us you actually what it's going to cost. So I can see that that's going to cost me 50 meters per second. 26k is a nice haul, is it? I'm glad to hear that. Uh, what have we got? Seventy seven K. Oh, that's probably worth going for as well, actually. We can manage it, it's a little far away. Totally forgot this conversation, but it's fine. <laughs> um, okay, Uh How are we doing? How are we doing? Kind of vaguely worried about that. These rocks are coming near. Uh, gonna hit that one. Ow, I was sort of hoping we'd slow down a little faster than that. Ow. That's okay, we found something more valuable. We actually found two things that are more valuable. Ow, okay, that hurt as well. I maybe am not taking the best care of this ship. We found something that's worth, I think, 15,000, though. That'll probably cover any repairs. It's probably about the hole. You just like seeing shiny number got. Me too. Me too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I would really like it if we could catch this sooner rather than later, please. Okay, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. We're going really fast. Velocity was 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 at like 40 meters per second there. <laughs> that 
let's just slow the heck down. We're, we are completely full up in here. Look at that. We are totally full. Let's go home. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, hey, let's look. Says nice thing about repairs is you're still insured because you've hardly taken any damage ever. Oh, okay, so. Do, do the cost of repairs go up, like, as I take more damage? Like, as in, as in, does the cost of repairing the same amount go up as I take more, if that makes sense, because of how insurance works? I don't know how insurance works in this game. Well, that's a, that's, I'm very happy with that. That's like, plus 50% money. Uh, it's still not quite enough to get a new ship that I want. Okay, I hadn't realised actually, this thing must be like pretty enormous considering how much it costs. Um, we could now buy a damaged ship. Have a look at how bad we, uh, we knackered that. Only as bad as last time. Uh, here's something that says you're sure for certain amount, then you have to start paying for repairs. Oh, I see! See, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Right. Uh, I think I can go in for one more die if I have to wait a little while, which costs the monies. But uh, so far, it's not, it's not so bad. Like it, it's quite easy to turn at least a modest profit, so long as you don't like actually t total your ship which to be fair I've come close to quite a few times um, is one of the reasons why I really want uh, something other than this bloody mass driver to attack asteroids with so that I can uh, you know get get, get slower velocity part I might just let myself drift inwards for a while. Because it does seem like the most profitable asteroids are the ones we're getting right at the end when we're furthest in. I don't know what the shiny... Like, it we get, like, shiny glints on that. I don't really know what they mean. Because, uh... Like, I can't see them on here. I find it interesting that I have acceleration. I don't have a lot of acceleration, but apparently I do have acceleration. I don't think I'm supposed to. Oh, look, 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 that's a shiny thing. But it's not on here. What's the shiny thing? I want to know. Yeah, this look says once the slack cell is from gravitational pull. Maybe it's going very slightly up because it was at about 0.27 before, and now it's at 0.3 something. Okay. This is maybe a likely looking place to start, I guess. Okay, everything that that made was a bit small. Got two bits from that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, nab one. Can afford to go a bit faster to catch this one, because we are going further in. Okay, it's not worth it. 
that very much though. But see, now our acceleration is very low. Interesting. Uh oh. I need to actually look at the thing. That would help. Uh, let's. Target that one. Didn't give us anything. Okay, we'll target you. Also. Oh no, it did give us something. It's not worth a lot, but it, it's there. That didn't give us anything. That did. Oh, some platinum. He stands some platinum. Drifting through space with my mouth open. Ready to munch. Ready to munch. Alright. Next. You got the first. I saw you. You're probably easier. Kind of committed now. Got it. Oh, that's a lot of platinum. I'll have you going a little quick. So I'd like to catch you as soon as possible if I can. Wonderful. Let's see what the next one I find is. Nothing. Oh no, summon. Oh, that's worth a lot. I love you, please. This is also worth a lot. Can I get it quickly? And then go back to the other one. Yeah, I know that cost a lot of fuel. It's because I, I, I overcommitted to this too early and I changed my mind. But, uh, oh, cargo hold's looking okay. It's sort of about 30,000 when we're about halfway through. That's what it was last time. I need to remember to turn that off. X, 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 X. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where'd the other bit go? Now, I just hit something. Wonderful, 41k in the tank. Uh, 
the shiny. Nope, I want the shiny, please. I can't see the shiny anymore. Did I hit something? I can't see anything that I've hit. I'm a little worried about hitting that. Oh, I guess the reason why I spin as I do that is because of the whole misaligned thrust thing, right? Okay, that wasn't that worthwhile. But it's money. Nope, missed. A small quantity of tungsten. More quickly than that, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see what you are. Another very small quantity of tungsten, but I mean, even small quantities of tungsten are worth stuff. Hail you? Pilot. Well, Matt. Um, thanks for the tip. Sure. I guess we could go full pirate. There's a bit here somewhere. Like, we could go full pirate and just shoot them. I don't particularly want to do that, but we could. Oh, this is a lovely lump of iron here. I'll have that, thank you. Oh, there's also this out here. No, shouldn't have got. Shouldn't have clicked on it. I was like, oh, I'll click on it, and it'll show me what it is. Nope, it's not how this game works. I knew that. Um, Alright, we're already a little low on fuel. We haven't had quite the haul that we did last time, but last time was an unusually good haul. We probably also haven't taken quite as much damage as last time. <clears throat> oh, this is a good bit of uh, stuff as well, actually, isn't it? On that, marvelous. Grab a tiny amount of tungsten, really. Not worth every penny. If and only if I can actually eat the damn thing. Uh. He seems to be doing a little dance. It's costing me a lot of fuel. Okay, let's just stop. So our, our targeting seems to be a little... bogus when we're that close summoning. Uh, hey, Lester says, I'll call the grinds rocks up. You just saw them running into asteroids. They were running into asteroids quite a bit. I assumed that was intentional. I don't actually know. Okay, we are actually already quite low on fuel. There's a small lump there. It's worth about a grand. I 
aiming for this one. That one way. This is tungsten. It's also worth the bow of the ground. But we know we can go. We know we can go lower in our. I assume how much it costs to get back is dependent on how far you're in. Ah, we haven't. We, we seem to have a fairly consistent. 50 so far. Uh, oh, that's going to be worth a lot more. Oh, I think that hurt us. Uh oh. I think these are from me. I just got an achievement, Diver, as well. Oh, that were close. That were too close. Ah, uh, that's a good bit there. this. Um, do -do -do. Don't mind me. Just flying through an asteroid field at high speeds. Now I'm in chunks. Oh, I actually totally could have got that maybe. That's a reasonable amount of iron. I maybe wouldn't mind getting. This is I like this. This is kind of quite chill. Um it's a little directionless so far. We are very nearly full. Is a little unfortunate. Uh oh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? 200 kilos of tungsten. Yeah, you're worth more. You're numb. Did I find out how much that was worth in the end? No. It's okay. Oh, let's see! Oh, hell. Uh oh, shoot, I always forget not to do that. Okay. What's up, Captain? I need a raise. Pay a scale for your skill set should be this. Um. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. I'm currently currently a little busy. I won't lie, chasing after a bit of stuff that I very foolishly let out of my face. Uh, I think it is probably time for us to go home, based on the fact that our cargo bay is basically full. Oh, that's a good bit though. I want that. I'm gonna get that bit if I can. Then we'll go. Um, can you go a little bit faster, please? Okay, can you go a lot bit faster, please? Huh. I realize it's because we're very heavy. But yeah, 
There are there are other asteroids drifting around. Come on, we don't need to open yet. Let's head for home. It's about quarter two, so I think this will be a last dive. I could have stayed out more in terms of Delta V, but uh, we were basically full in our cargo hold, so I think that was fine. Oh, our power balance is apparently funky. Uh, music will handle what kinds of event happen nearby. A glowing screen board that says a visual aid. Maybe I should have turned on that glowing board because I haven't been able to tell anything about from just the music. But also, maybe we haven't met anything interesting yet. Uh, we're gonna sell everything. There we go. Gonna go to the dealer. I can now afford a trustworthy fighter. Which is basically exactly the same as our existing ship, to be honest. Um, in everything that I can understand. We've got this huge boy still. Uh, they, they say new, they're not that new. Um, oh, yellow poison. Hello, yellow poison. Uh, no, I guess we can't quite afford another one just yet. Which is a shame. Um, <laughs> dealer. A spaceship dealer, boom boom. Um, we can afford this one that is very broken and try and fix it up. Oh, you've got a mass driver though. You're not what I want. I'm after, really. What have you got? You've got a mass driver. I mean, I suppose. Like, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to buy something that's like the one I've got and then change config. But I want the one. I want one with a bigger cargo bay. Is the thing. I don't know if it'll also have a bigger mouth. I can't really tell, because there's no real concept of scale like it might do. But I, I, I can't see that easily. Um, but yeah, I was hoping for a bit of a bigger one. Oh, see, see, this is actually the one I want, isn't it? Because you've got the point defense microwave generator times two. You also have processed cargo storage. You actually also have processed cargo storage, but interestingly, processed cargo is measured in kilos, not size. I don't really know how that works. Does that mean that I could fit a lot more into my ship if I processed it? Question mark? Um... Where's my standard cargo bay? That's all chunks into processed ore. I don't really know what this means. <laughs> it's quite a lot of money to spend on something that you don't know what it means. Whereas like a new ship, I can kind of, I can grasp what that means. This is called the Dinosaur Experiment, that's a great name. Anyway, uh, I guess that's where we're going to leave it, because we only got 10 minutes, so I don't think that's long enough for another dive. Uh, how actually? Do I need any repairs? No, I don't need any repairs. 
that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so that's been uh, the Rings of Saturn Delta V. I uh, that was fun. That was that was very very chill. Uh, I like it. Well, okay, I say very chill. There's no pressure to do really very much of anything. It's not chill, chill because there's a constant danger of death uh, from from your own incompetence of crashing into asteroids. That in itself is not chill. Uh, but the the vibe of um the, like the vibe of just kind of drifting around in the asteroid belt. There's not a lot of progression milestones. That kind of appeals. I would like maybe a little bit more guidance. Just in terms of like an idea of what's out there, or what I, or I'd like an idea of what I need to do if I want to progress. But you know, it, it's not like progression is a thing that happens quickly in the game. Mostly, I am just sort of drifting around, engaging in like emergent situations, as you will. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go off on a little raid. We're gonna raid uh, Shadow at Noon. This is a slightly bigger human than I normally raid into, but. She's playing Pokemon XD, uh, so I can't really not, uh, because I do love that game absolutely to pieces. It's wonderful and amazing, uh, just like Colosseum. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for, for sticking around. Thank you to Halos and Look for the follow. It's lovely to have you people along for the ride. I'll be playing this again uh, next week at 8pm on Thursday, I should imagine. <laughs> Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Opus Magnum at midday British time. Uh, so join me for that if you like puzzles and interesting machines and stuff. Uh, thank you to everyone else who was around. To Shaka, who I know left. To Boom Boom. To Stereochromus. Uh, to Shasko, who stopped by. You're all wonderful, lovely humans. Uh, obviously, you know, being lo wonderful, lovely humans, make sure that Shadow also knows you're a wonderful, lovely human and is as pleased to have you in her chat as I am to have you in mine. Uh... I hope you all have a wonderful evening. My name has been Dizzy. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Night-night.